watching KTVE, NBC 10, your Arklamas news source. And now, your Billy Wood Honda forecast first. We're tracking a few showers, thunderstorms popping up, mainly in portions of southern Mississippi, but nothing ongoing here in northeast Louisiana or southern Arkansas. We've got the cold front stretched over us, but there is some fog developing in a couple places into parts of south Arkansas. So as you're heading out the door this morning, take it slow in case you run into some of that fog. We will be starting off upper 60s and into the lower 70s throughout the course of today, and we will be hitting the lower 90s for this afternoon. It's going to be very warm and muggy. Dew points will be climbing to the upper 90s and potentially into the triple digits. So definitely uh, practice heat safety. If be out and about for this afternoon. Here's a look at the I-20 traffic cameras right now. There are no backward delays to report, and honestly, visibility hasn't been too bad here in Monroe or Washtenaw Parish. It's been mostly further to the north and parts of South Arkansas. Right now, temperature at Monroe is 72 degrees. We're at 67 in Ruston and 65 degrees over in El Dorado. Now, tomorrow and through the rest of the start of the weekend, we will see mostly clear conditions, staying relatively warm and humid. But next week, we'll have a very brief cool down with the return of more showers and thunderstorms. That's forecast first. And continues today starts now. Live from the NBC 10 Broadcast Center, this is your Arklamas News Source. Voted best weather and home of the live storm tracker Doppler radar. This is NBC 10 News Today. Good morning. Thank you for waking up with us. I'm Abby Price. And I'm Hannah Clark. New this morning, we have an update on Shreveport anchor Bill Lund. He's accused of engaging in sexual explicit online communications with a girl who identified as a minor. Lund's attorney released a letter saying, quote, It is our preliminary understanding that this incident was not the result of a law enforcement investigation, but rather one done by private individuals. It goes on to say, Mr. Lund has cooperated with authorities and vehemently denies any allegations of wrongdoings. To read the full letter, visit us at myarklamas.com. In 2020, Agena Man... Sponsored by Coney Island Connection and Chris Lewis. In 2020, a Gina man was murdered. At least one suspect was seen by witnesses running away from the scene, but has yet to be identified. Our Chelsea Monet sat down with the victim's family and has more in this week's Arklamas Most Wanted. 44-year-old Leon Turner was working under the hood of his car when out of nowhere, several gunmen showed up and opened fire in what investigators describe as an ambush-style killing, leaving Turner dead and the killers on the loose. I just asked him why did you take my brother's life the way you took his life with his back turned in his yard, minding his business, and for y'all to crucify him. That you don't, don't nobody deserve to get killed the way they killed my brother. You're looking at Leon Turner, a son, brother, father, and what some describe as the neighborhood handyman. You know, work on some or anything. He could do it, he could take it apart and put it back together. And that's exactly what he was doing when he was murdered. Late that evening on April 21st, 2020, Leon was working under the hood of his car on Church Street. He was shot twice and died on the scene. Witnesses told investigators they saw a suspect running away from the area. He was about 5'10", wearing a camouflage style pullover and black pants. He never looked at me that day, never. Never looked me in the eye that day. Didn't even turn his head, to, you know, to look at me. And, and I asked myself, I say, well, Lord, I said, what you trying to tell me? According to his family, something had been brewing for months. Just a week before the murder, Leon was shot at while outside his mother's home, but was unharmed. A week before the actual killing, uh, they shot at him in my front yard, in the yard. Were you the home? Yes, and the kids were home too. Kids that he loved deeply. In fact, he had full custody of his children. All they knew was their daddy. You know, they, they was always with him. Wherever you seen him, you saw him and his kids together. He loved his kids. And they loved their father so much that his 11-year-old son felt he could not live without him. They, they not only took my brother, they took my nephew because my nephew committed suicide. Missing his dad. Got a tip? Call Crime Stoppers of North Delta at 318-388-CASH. You can't hide on the wolf forever. God gonna bring it to light and my brother Justice Hill's gonna be suffered. It's coming. A $5,000 cash reward remains for anyone who can help close this case. For Arklamas Most Wanted, 
I'm Chelsea Monet. For local fugitives that have been captured, pick up a copy of the Justified newspaper at your local convenience store. One well, Arkansas News, an Arkansas World War II veteran is in France right now memorializing the 80th anniversary of D-Day. 100-year-old William Toombs is one of 50 veterans who is selected to attend the battlefield return to Normandy. He says he flew his first bombing mission on D-Day and remembers thinking at first it was just another training mission. He described spotting the invading force, saying he had never seen so many ships in his life and the sky was full of airplanes. He says ultimately it was a moment of loss during the campaign that drove him to return all these years later. On the way back, something happened, and the two, those two planes flew together, and we lost 20 of a very good men. And I thought about that for eight years. So I felt I should mention them and let the world know about it, you know. He says so many men were lost and he felt people needed to know about it. He says he hopes young people look into the events of that day so our veterans and those who didn't make it home will never be forgotten. Across Louisiana, termite swarms are a staple this time of year and recent rain is making the problem even worse. Kenny Lopez talked to an expert about protecting your home. When the lights are on, it's on for the termites but over here at Terminex, they're turning the lights out on these pesky pests. So it's summertime in New Orleans. It's hot, it's humid. Uh, we're having some afternoon rainstorms. So that means we're seeing swarming termites. They creep, crawl, swarm, and ultimately can eat your house. In the evening time, you'll see some termites swarming around your lights. And what that means is they have left the mother colony and they are emitting young kings and queens to start a new colony. But your home doesn't have to become their home if you look out for the culprit. You don't want to have a sustained moisture source. If termites find sustained moisture in the house, whether it be a leaky ice maker, a leaky refrigerator, uh, a drip line from an air condition leaking in or outside your house, gutters, uh, clogging up. So we walk up to a house and you see some ephis or a type of stucco covering on a house and you start to notice some cracking and then all of a sudden we remove the piece of ephis and we have a termite carton nest. Looks good outside, it's bad inside. Joe Martin, an entomologist with Terminex says homeowners should have their homes inspected once a year. But we're seeing pockets of swarms uh, in different parts of the city uh, and it seem, they seem to be pretty consistent. They've been consistent the last two years. Big swarms reported in Lafitte, um, Lakeview, Metairie, and we've had drywood swarms and Formosan termite swarms uptown. But this is a great time of year to walk around your house, see where the termites are coming from. And on today's Ask the Archimist, we want to know, do you feel more at risk for termites after recent severe storms? Just scan that QR code on your screen or go to myarchimist.com slash vote and let us know. We'll take a look at what viewers at home are saying throughout today's show. Well, Louisiana's annual free fishing weekend is this Saturday, June 8th, and Sunday, June 9th. This weekend, only residents are free to fish waters without the required fishing li license. Although license requirements are waived, other fishing regulations still apply. Organizations within the community are teaming up to offer unique and inclusive activities for children with sensory needs. NBC 10's Haley Hines brings us more details. Local organizations are partnering with the Washita Parish Library to offer sensory friendly resources. The main branch of the Washita Parish Library is partnering with Building Futures Pediatric Therapy and the Autism Society of North Louisiana to kickstart their weekly interactive sensory story times. We spoke to the Children's Librarian, Angela Greer, and President of the Autism Society, Kelly Fleming, on the new opportunity. We felt that there was a need to provide programs to the underserved community of those families. A lot of times families are afraid to get out, afraid to go to events with their children who have either autism or sensory needs because it can be very hard to contain them. A lot of times the community may not be accepting and we want to promote that acceptance. The story times may offer flexible seating, fidget items and create an overall space of acceptance for families. We spoke to a parent attending the meeting on what this opportunity means. A lot of times it's kind of hard 
going places, especially quiet places, um, and just because we're loud and we make a lot of noise, we're very high energy, and I'm really excited that this is an option. Building Futures Pediatric Therapy also offers a mini town built in 2023 as a sensory friendly tool used to assist children. Wendy Petrus, part owner of Building Futures, spoke on the inclusive options and their partnership with the library. So we offer different ways to help children from transitions, sensory issues that they may have, maybe at sounds, noises, lights, anything. We find ways to help them calm down and be calm. We want to partner with Washita Parish Library and just be a resource for them. I know they're implementing the sensory friendly reading time and that's what we do here. We help kids with sensory needs. Reporting in Monroe, Louisiana, for your Arklamis News Source, I'm Haley Hans. The co-founder of Acadian Ambulance, Richard Zuschlag, has died. He has 76-year-old Acadian Ambulance was founded in 1971. Today has more than 5,000 employees in four states and 37 parishes in Louisiana. Former Governor John Bell Edwards released a statement on Zuschlag's passing, saying that he wasn't just a great Louisiana, but a loyal friend, devoted husband, and grandfather. Well, only on NBC, it's that time of year where the community joins us for the 6th Annual Homeless Veterans Food Drive. You can visit one of the Max grocery stores on your screen and buy a pre-packed bag of food for $10. The bags will be given to homeless veterans in our area. You have until June 12th to donate. And we have an additional option this year to help our homeless veterans. By scanning the QR code on your screen, you can purchase items such as toothbrushes, razors, socks, and other toiletries. Well, still to come on NBC 10 News today. We learn about a fun event happening tonight, but first, here's Chase with a look at your fishing game forecast. We are seeing uh, fog develop in a couple places, especially in parts of southern Arkansas, to take a slow out on the roads, but it's going to be very warm and muggy today and last throughout the rest of this week. More details on how hot it's going to get coming up, but first, here's a look at your fishing game forecast. Weather, sponsored by Twin City Outdoor Equipment. Westgate Used Parts and Cars in West Monroe has the car, truck, or SUV to fit your budget. Westgate sells quality vehicles at affordable prices, and they always have a large selection to choose from. They got the wheels, and they're ready to make deals. Westgate Used Parts and Cars. Award-winning guidance every step of the way. KO Realty Group. Callie Owens. Buying or selling. Trust the hometown award-winning agency at KO Realty Group. Call 870-412-4949. Voted Best Real Estate Company 2023. Voted Best Agent 2022 and 2023. Trust the hometown girl with hometown values. Knockout service. Follow on Facebook. You can spend tons of time, effort, and trouble remodeling your bathroom, but why? Tubs by Grubs takes all of that out of the picture. No worries. Need it done right, efficiently, and affordable? You need to call one place, Tubs by Grubs. With Tubs by Grubs, you have absolutely no worries. They handle everything, even low-interest financing. How does monthly payments as low as $125 sound? Sounds like you need to make a call to Tubs by Grubs now. 318-324-1232. Tubs by Grubs. No worries. Sam's Southern Eatery and Seafood, where you can have great food on a family budget. At Sam's, meals are made fresh to order and the menu is full of tasty options. Seafood, chicken, burgers, po'boys, salads, southern sides, and mouth-watering ice cream. We even have a kid's menu and family platters. Enjoy your meal in our dining area, take it to go, or just roll through our drive through Or you can order through Uber Eats, Grubhub, DoorDash, or online at sams-monroe.com. It's all cooking at Sam's Southern Eatery and Seafood in Monroe. It's about tradition, value, and community. We're creating creed, and we're proud to call Northeast Louisiana home. Catherine and I raised our family here, we worship here, and we serve here. It's an honor to support the community that has given us so much. Tradition, value, and community, that's Creed and Creed. If you've been injured in an accident, call Creed and Creed today. Proudly serving this great community for over 25 years. Ready to turn your car into cold, hard cash? 
Westgate Used Parts and Cars will buy your car. If it's used parts you're looking for, they have those too, as well as motors and transmissions, and they can even pull it off for you. Westgate Used Parts and Cars. Meteorologist Alex Noel, weeknights on NBC10 News. NBC10 News Today continues. Well, welcome back. It's Global Running Day, and there's a local way you can celebrate. We're sending things over to Mitch live at Forsyth Park now to get the details. Mitch? Well, good morning, everyone. This is Mitch in the morning. You can celebrate Global Running Day with Fleet Feet at their big 5K run in Forsyth Park today. The 5K looks to celebrate how running encourages friendship, accomplishment, and the chance to challenge your personal limits. Whether it's your first 5K or your fifth, the Fleet Feet is inviting you to come out and celebrate with them. The big 5K run will take place this evening, June the 6th, from 6 p.m. until 8 p.m. at Forsyth Park in Monroe. You can find out more information on fleetfeet.com slash Monroe. Back to you in the studio. This is Mitch in the morning. All right. Well, you know, we talked about earlier, it's a good good day to maybe go out and run. So sure head, is. head to the 5K. Get the right. shoes on. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Still to go on NBC 10 News today. Your full forecast. Stay with us. Kyla Scott, weeknights on NBC 10 News. Are you receiving all the financial services you are looking for? Look no further. Craftman Federal Credit Union is expanding our eligibility for joining. If you live, work, worship, or attend school in Morehouse, Washita, Union, Lincoln, Richland, East, or West Carroll Parish, Madison, and even Ashley County in Arkansas, become a member today. Join and receive great rates on savings, checking IRAs, CDs, and loans. Visit us at either of our locations in Bastrop or Sterlington, or visit us at craftmanfcu.com. When you have an automobile accident, don't let the insurance company pin you down. Insurance companies have a team of people that do nothing but handle these kinds of things all day, every day. After you sign up with Flint Profit and Cochran, the insurance companies won't call you anymore. We'll talk to them directly. We're here as attorneys to counsel our clients, to help them make decisions that will be good for them. You need lawyers who will fight for you. If you've been involved in an accident, give us a call. Hi folks, this is Raven at Inks Firestone, where our tire prices are buzzing. Great, $39.95, tune up $69.95, and funding alignments for $89.95. So folks, if you don't want to get stung by high tire prices, come on down to Inks Firestone for the best tire prices in town. For over seven decades, Ruston Glass and Mirror has been your trusted local glass expert in Ruston, Louisiana. Whether it's your home or office, count on our family-owned business for your superior glass services. At Ruston Glass and Mirror, we specialize in residential and commercial, providing unmatched quality and service. Trust us for all your glass needs. Contact Ruston Glass and Mirror today for expert repairs and replacements. Backed by over 70 years of experience. I got cowgirled up at Honey Hush Boutique. Honey Hush Boutique offers misses and plus at mubulous prices. Shop online at www.shophoneyhushboutique.com or visit our store at 3640 Highway 33 Rust. The paper towel will absorb the acid. That's crazy. Green tea to calm acne. This is my favorite tip of the day. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Oh, that's genius. You just saved me 40 bucks. Razorback fans, get the latest scoop on all Arkansas Razorback athletics on Pig Trail Nation, weekdays on NBC10 News. First at 4, sponsored by Auto Lube Express. News, sponsored by Banner Ford of Monroe. Live Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by Homeland Bank. And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. We are tracking a few leftover showers and thunderstorms popping up, mainly in portions of southern Mississippi. But as far as northeast Louisiana and southern Arkansas, uh, Arkansas is concerned, we're relatively clear. We're seeing clouds depart the region further to the north, but we're also seeing some fog develop in a lot of locations. So kind of take a little slow on the roads. And if you run into that, use loving lights when necessary. Here's a look at the Doppler radar. And as you can see, at 619, we're not tracking anything ongoing in our region as far as Louisiana or Arkansas is concerned. Well, here's a look at the downtown El Dorado traffic camera, and you can see 
Not much going on. You can see the sun is starting to rise in the background. Visibility has dropped off in a couple places. Right now, visibility is 7 miles at El Dorado with temperature of 65 degrees. Winds still remain calm. We're at 72 degrees now. Monroe 70, Monticello, and 64, Camden 67, just out in Ruston. Now, these dew points, don't expect much change with them, are you? are probably thinking, well, we got a cold front. Should we have some cooler, dry air moving on through? That's not going to be the case. Our winds are going to stay well to be calm, and with all the leftover rain still on the ground, the ground's still very saturated, the sun's going to be out, so there's going to be a lot of evaporation. So these dew points are still going to be holding out in the upper 60, lower 70 range, and that's the reason why we got some fog developing in a couple spots, especially further north you go. Camden's at down to two miles, and even Vicksburg is down to zero miles. We had some fog developing in parts of Madison Parish. So again, if you run into that, just kind of take it slow in case you're hitting that this morning. There's the cold front. It's currently stretched just over us, and the nearest activity popping just ahead of the boundary layer across Alabama and parts of southern Mississippi and eastern sections of Louisiana. But behind it, the winds are relatively calm, so we're just not getting that good, cool, dry air flow here at the surface. We're still expecting these uh, forecast highs to be reaching into the lower 90s, and heat index values, because these dew points are in that upper 60, lower 70 range, it's going to feel like it's, you know, around 100, 101, or around uh, 1 or 2 o'clock today. So we're going to be kind of just shy of heat advisory uh, criteria. You kind of need to be around 105 or higher to hit heat advisory levels. But since we're in the lower 100s, just continue to practice heat safety nonetheless, protect yourself from the sun, and make sure you're staying hydrated. Here's a look at your modeling forecast. And like I said, you need to do that for today, also tomorrow, and especially going into Saturday, where we could be borderlining that actual heat advisory criteria where we actually could hit 105 because notice how the temperature kind of gets a few degrees higher, thus heat index will be able to rise a little bit higher than that as well. So the frontal boundary is going to push further down to the south. we got high pressure settling in further up to the northwest. Going to keep our weather pattern about to be quiet for the next couple of days. Now, as we head later on to next week, we have a new system that will form low pressure center and a warmer cold front that will extend from it. The warm front will extend across portions of Arkansas, and we could see some activity along that particular boundary layer as we go into late Saturday for portions of southern Arkansas. But that cold front is going to swing back behind it, thus sparking up the chance for more practice showers and thunderstorms going into next week. And we are actually expecting this particular cold front to provide us with some slightly cooler temperatures, as you can see in the temperature outlook going into next week. We're looking to be falling to the mid 80s for our daytime highs. Betting high about 92 degrees, so for this afternoon, remaining sunny and warm, and still remain warm and muggy for the next few days will be clear and quiet tonight as we fall to lower 70s and tomorrow back to the lower 90s still remaining warm and muggy and that will be that way through the weekend on Saturday and even through Sunday as well with that cold front beginning to swing on through but by Monday and Tuesday that's when the temperatures will actually start to drop to the mid 80s and will remain in the mid 80s through at least Wednesday but the cool down is going to be relatively brief only lasting about just a couple of days because we'll be back to the lower 90s late next week. Hello, I'm Allison, and I'm so excited to be here with Dr. Rel Gray in our weekly segment, Ask Dr. Gray. And as always, I enjoy this. So how are you doing today? I'm doing very well, Allison. Good. I hope you are. I am. I'm doing wonderful. Good. So I always enjoy these questions, and you've got such a, a wealth of knowledge for us. So um, well, let's see you. what the viewers are asking us this week. Um, so our first question today is, what are some tips to build healthy habits? Well, healthy habits are built by repetition. Okay. You decide what you want to do and you do it uh, every day for two weeks and then it becomes a habit. Okay. Um, so healthy habits. Um, yeah. Well, uh, keep your weight under control. Mm -hmm. uh, get enough rest. Okay. Uh, Water, I know you talked about water. Yeah. I would think water would yeah. probably be important, but. So, okay. Yeah. But that's good. Those, those things are healthy. Yeah. Uh, most people know what's healthy and what's not. Right. It's just yeah. trouble doing it. It is. It's just sticking to it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Our, our next question is Are liquid diets a good idea for weight reduction? Well, yes, they are. And mm -hmm. people can lose weight with that. But sometimes they can be dangerous. So you almost always, if you're going to do a liquid diet for mm -hmm. weight loss, you need to be under a doctor's supervision. Okay. Because you can have variations, wide variations in electrolytes and blood sugar, okay. and all that, and right. uh, and. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah, well, and I would think that that would probably be the key with most weight loss programs okay. as well. You'd need to be yeah. monitored. So, all right. I mean, you don't want to do a liquid weight loss with just alcohol. Oh, <laughs> this is true. <laughs> no, well, no, you were reading my mind. No. <laughs> all right, our next question this week is, does taking a laxative after eating a big meal help you get rid of a lot of the calories you just consumed? No. Okay. Uh, I've actually heard that, so. No. Yeah. No, it'll help you have a bowel movement. Yeah. But um, it's not, not going to get, get rid, rid of it. <laughs> not going to get rid of what you just ate until it's already processed and in your bloodstream. Got you. <laughs> so, all right. And our last question this week is, what is the best way to lose weight in your belly, in your area, mid midsection? In your midsection? Well, first of all, get your weight down to normal. Okay. Uh, then start doing some exercise to strengthen your abdominal muscles. And if you still have little pockets of fat, little abdominal pooch or something like right. that, uh, you can use laser treatments okay. to melt that fat. Right. Uh, and so those are three things you could do. Okay. All right. That sounds great. Thank you so much. And thank you, viewers, for watching. Um, if you have a question you'd like to ask Dr. Gray, you can go to marklemas.com and click on Ask Dr. Gray and submit your question, and then we can feature you here um, on one of our upcoming segments. Or you can find Dr. Gray in Ruston. And where can they find you? On Reynolds Drive in Ruston. Or they can call us at 318-251-1000. All right. Thank you so much. I enjoyed it. And thank you, viewers. Have a blessed day. Millions are turning to Tamron Let's be free. because she gets people to feel free and be themselves. There's only one place in daytime to feel this free. Tamron Hall. Jared Floyd, Chief Meteorologist of the Arc Limits. Acme Brick is here to serve you. We still have the best selection of brick in town, but you can also find the beauty of cultured stone and Mac metals. Come find everything you need for your outdoor kitchen. We also offer grills and fireplaces, both gas and wood burning, to enhance your outdoor and indoor living. Acme Brick, Tile, and more. Your destination for extraordinary home solutions. Visit us today and experience the beauty and versatility of Acme's wide range of products. Swole Food, where wholesome food and healthy living achieve goals. Offering meal prep, smoothies, and planning. Healthy choices for everyone. Whether you're wanting to lose, maintain, or get swole, we have you covered. Located at 1805 Northwest Avenue, El Dorado. Let me tell you a secret about a father's love. For the journeys you take and taking it easy. Fair weather and foul. Quiet moments and days that live long in the memory. In those places that might not be home, but sure feel like it. Take it all as it comes. Luxury meets performance. Winners play at Riverwalk Casino Hotel. When is a good day to mow? Find out with the mowing forecast. Weekday mornings and afternoons on NBC 10 News. Sponsored by Bayou Kubota. Sign up for Flower Friday, where you could win a gift card to Sammy's Plant World. Just go to MyArchLimits.com and register. Then watch NBC 10 News today on Friday mornings to see if you win Flower Friday with NBC 10 News and Sammy's Plant World. See the live video from El Dorado with the El Dorado Tower Cam. Every newscast on NBC 10 News, sponsored by Blackman's Furniture. Chime in on relevant topics with NBC 10's Ask the Arklamist. Just scan the QR code or go to myarklamist.com to see how your answer affects the outcome in real time. Sponsored by Guerrero and Guerrero, the injury attorney. Just call 6 million. Cindy Langston, weekdays on NBC 10 News, first at 4. NBC 10 News Today continues. All right, welcome back. Well, it's time to take a look at our hometown homes at 629. We have Nancy who says, good morning from It's Not Raining in El Dorado. And uh, I yeah. know, hey, hallelujah. Yeah, we are <laughs> saying praise Jesus this morning. <laughs> yes, definitely excited about that. Wanda says, good morning from Monroe. Happy Thursday. Edna says, good morning from Cross It. Dana says, good morning from Strong. Cheryl says, good morning from Farmerville. Russell says, good morning from Bastrop. Have a terrific Thursday. Jim says, good morning. Happy Friday Eve. Chase, where is the snow? 
from downtown North Carolina. Uh, it's going to be a while there. Jim, yeah, Jim loves the snow, but sadly, it'll be a little bit before it's we gonna get be a, there. It's going to be a while. Yes, um, but, you know, I we can give you 90s something. Yeah, if we start getting snow now, then I'm waiting for Armageddon because something, yeah. something ain't right. <laughs> Something's yeah. going on if we're getting snow in June in Louisiana and Arkansas. But, you know, we are <laughs> pushing through. No snow today, but thankfully, going to see some sun out there, and we're very excited about that. Glad to have a nice nice day so we hope that you guys have a great Thursday morning and a great day today. We're unsealing the secrets of the Ghost Army ahead of D-Day, a secret non-combat unit trained to sub subvert Nazi troops without ever lifting a gun. Mary Elena Valoris explains. As a 19 year old art student, Bernie Bluestein saw a job posting outside a college classroom in Cleveland. The year was 1943, and the U.S. was tapping young men for a new top-secret unit, a non-combat unit. That we were going to do camouflage work. All the details of how they were going to use us and everything else was never explained to us. He was placed with 1,100 other young men in the 23rd Headquarters Special Troops. My parents never knew where I was. I mean, we weren't able to tell them our location. The unit was made up of artists, engineers, and architects. Their mission, to build a dummy army, all part of a strategic plan to trick the Nazis. Camouflage equipment, how to uh, make fake equipment. They became known as the Ghost Army. They carried out more than 20 missions, perhaps their most famous on D-Day. It was called Operation Fortitude. The purpose of this was to, to deceive the uh, Germans. Their final elaborate hoax was in March of 1945, known as Operation Viersen. The secret unit distracted the Nazis to mask Allied troop movements. There's a lot of soldiers coming into town. Word finally did get back to the Germans because the following morning, lo and behold, we were shelled by the Germans. But not before the real troops crossed the Rhine with little resistance. We knew that was a success. The veil of secrecy was finally lifted in 1996 when the records were unsealed. It wasn't until this past March that Bluestein and other members of the Ghost Army were given the Congressional Gold Medal. I wish the rest of the 1,100 men in our outfit could have gotten this recognition. I'm Maria Elena Valores. Tuesday on NBC and Peacock. The Olympic Games are coming. But first, the best American athletes have to make Team USA. The U.S. Olympic Team Trials on NBC and Peacock. Get the fiesta started at El Sombrero of West Monroe. Chris veggies and mouthwatering meats make up the vast menu. And of course, our famous spicy salsa and sweet margaritas. Enjoy the bar for delightful spirits, brews, and entertainment. Experience authentic Mexican food, both savory and spicy, with two for one margaritas. In a fun and welcoming atmosphere, dine in, carry out, or host your next event at our party room. No matter how you like the fiesta, make it happen at El Sombrero of West Monroe. Yay for Pre-K! Enroll your child now and watch them thrive through learning. Pre-K provides a nurturing environment where every child can grow, learn, and succeed. Give your child the best start. Enrolling now in Washington, Lincoln, Morehouse, Richland, and East Carroll Parishes. Yay for Pre-K! The only newscast about South Arkansas is NBC 10 News First at 4. It's the news of Crossett, El Dorado, Camden, and places in between. If it's happening in South Arkansas, it's on First at 4. Sponsored by Complete Home Care. This is Skip Russell, your local State Farm Insurance agent in Ruston, Louisiana. We want to invite you to give us the opportunity to be your insurance agent. We have the knowledge, we have the experience to serve your insurance needs. Call us today at 255-5050 or come by our office at 105 East Reynolds Drive in Ruston. We are here to serve you. 255-5050, call us today. Hey guys, this is Eric, owner of B&E Wholesale. We're located at 100 Trenton Street, downtown West Monroe. Check out this week's deals. Low prices on Honeywell air coolers, small, medium, and large. Craftsman gas mowers, $199. Large fuel cans, $30. Coleman grills, $159. And tools, tools, tools. 
wholesale prices to you, the public. We have a whole lot of things you need and a whole lot of things you don't know you need. b and &E Wholesale, name brand items at wholesale prices. For you to wake up early, hit the ground running, ready to seize the day. For you who get hurt and rub a little dirt on it. For you who understand the value in working hard and playing to win. For you who need a truck as tough as you are, Jim Taylor is calling you. Because we value the integrity of a handshake and know the value of a dollar. Come experience what we're all about at Jim Taylor Ford Lincoln in Ruston. News, sponsored by Billy Wood Honda. You're watching KTVE, NBC 10, your Arklamas news source. And now, your Billy Wood Honda forecast first. The skies have cleared out overnight and we're working up to mostly clear conditions. We got some fog trying to develop in a couple places further to the north, but now the sun is up. Visibility really hasn't been too bad, especially across uh, northeast Louisiana. Here's looking live at the Creek Creek Doppel County, just outside the studio. Temperatures have been starting off in the upper 60s, lower 70s. Doesn't feel too bad out there, but as we go throughout the course of the day, we will be warming up to the upper 80s, and it's going to be warmer and muggy for this afternoon. Notice how we hit the lower 90s, and that heat index could be climbing to the upper 90s, and probably right there at the start of the triple digits for later on today. So so definitely be careful and make sure you're staying hydrated if you're out and about for this afternoon. Here's a look at the Hollywood 165 traffic cameras. And right now at 636, not much happening. Traffic's still moving pretty good right now, even along uh, I-20 as well. Still giving a yellow light to account for some of the fog developing across portions of the Arkansas. Visibility has been dropped down to near zero for the east out towards Vicksburg along I-20. We're at 65 degrees now, El Dorado, 67 in Ruston, and 70 degrees in Monroe. Now tomorrow and throughout the rest of the week, we are still expecting clear conditions, but it's still going to remain hot and humid even for Saturday. But later on next week, we'll get a nice brief cool down with the return of more showers and thunderstorms. That's Forecast First. NBC 10 News Today continues. Live from the NBC 10 Broadcast Center, this is your Arklamas News Source. Voted best weather and home of the live storm tracker Doppler radar. This is NBC 10 News Today. Good morning. Thanks for sticking with NBC 10. I'm Abby Price. And I'm Hannah Clark. New this morning from a New Orleans homeless shelter to the top of his high school class, Elijah Hogan has already conquered much in life. Shay O'Connor spoke with the new grad and shares his story. A message to New Orleans youth from Elijah Hogan, the 2024 valedictorian at Walter L. Cohen High School. Hey, this is go out to all African-American children, teens included. Despite where you are or the area you in, even though it may look bad and down, there are moments where there will be people that will give you a guiding hand to help get you through. So take that opportunity. Hogan graduated with a 3.89 GPA. The main challenge was fitting in. There was a lot of obstacles I went through, but I was able to come through it head on. And he has many people to thank. One of them is the Covenant House. Without their help, I wouldn't have been here I am, as well as my family members. Despite them being out of state, I still have connections with them. Along with the memory of his mother, who passed away when Hogan was only eight. For the last year and a half, he's been a resident here at the Covenant House that provides a place to stay for youth who are homeless. His caseworker says right away, organizers at the house knew just how bright Hogan was. For the last four years, we have pushed ourselves in our education. She videoed Hogan's speech to his class, bringing her to tears. I could see him really just enjoying this moment. Um, that's really, that's all that I could ask for, Elijah. It was such a great moment. For the team. There are times and places where you can have fun, but also times and places where you have to do your hardest to get where you want. The struggle was one he took in stride, knowing his achievements will inspire his siblings and other youth that may find themselves in a similar situation. Don't let others define who you are. Don't let things take, get you down. Don't let it chain you down. Let moments help you get through it. On the 80th anniversary of D-Day, we are remembering and honoring those who died fighting for our freedom. Many of them are buried in the Normandy American Cemetery, just yards away from where the invasion happened. Maria Lena Belores takes us there. About 12,000 American service members are either buried or remembered here at the Normandy American Cemetery. And every year, about 2 million people from around the world come here to learn about these people and pay their respects. 9,338. 
That's how many people are buried within the hallowed grounds of the Normandy American Cemetery. This cemetery commemorates the sacrifice of an entire young generation, but also the sacrifice of all those families because they were all the son or the brother of someone. Many of them just got a child before they left home. Many of them just got married before they left home. They were husbands, parents, but they were all part of family. Marble crosses mark most of the graves within the cemetery, but in recent years, there's been an effort to acknowledge the soldiers of Jewish heritage who hid their religion during and after the war. The cemetery made a promise to change their grave markers at the request of their families. We're still honoring this promise. Now there are 152 Stars of David in Normandy American Cemetery. There are 45 sets of brothers who are buried in the cemetery, including 33 who are buried side by side. That includes two sons of President Theodore Roosevelt, Brigadier General Theodore Roosevelt Jr. and Lieutenant Quentin Roosevelt, who's the only World War I aviator buried in Normandy. When family members visit the grave of their loved one, cemetery officials perform a sand ceremony as a way to honor that soldier. We take some sand coming from Omaha Beach and we put it to highlight the name of the service member. Within this sacred place is also a memorial with a semicircular garden. More than 1,500 names of the missing are inscribed on the wall. In this cemetery are buried more than 300 people, but we don't know their names. Their names are inscribed on the wall of the missing. Rosettes mark the names of those since recovered and identified, a way to always remember those who fought and died on the beaches of Normandy. The folks who work here know it's not easy for everybody to come to Normandy and pay their respects in person, so they encourage everybody at home to learn about veterans in their community and honor them. In Normandy, I'm Mariela Valores. One of the largest knife stores in the U.S., KnifeWorks, has over 3,000 knives on display. Brands like Case, Benchmade, and Kershaw. With in-house engraving, most items of leather, wood, and metal can be personalized. Slice through our wide selection of kitchen cutlery, hunting knives, pocket knives, and flashlights. If you have questions, our expert staff loves to give sharp tips, and they always get to the point. They even offer a full selection of home decor, cooking essentials, gifts, and much more. So take a stab at the website or chop on by. KnifeWorks Columbia. Give it a grind. If your windows are old, they're rotting, they're ugly, they're not energy efficient, it's hard to heat and cool the house, the house is uncomfortable, give me a call. I've got new vinyl insulated windows custom built to your home, whatever size you like, many colors and designs. Financing available, most jobs $75 a month or less, free estimate, it's quick, it's easy, and it's affordable. Now that's the ideal way. Create your personal price plan with Kim Dupree State Farm, an award-winning insurance agency offering auto, home, life, health, business, and retirement planning. Our team of professionals can help make insurance clear, simple, and affordable. The Kim Dupree Agency has two locations to serve you, Ruston, Louisiana, and El Dorado, Arkansas. Licensed in Louisiana, Arkansas, Texas, and Mississippi. Call, click, or walk in for your personal plan today. Daniel Appliance and Furniture is the place to shop for Maytag and Whirlpool appliances. Super capacity washers and dryers starting at $579. Electric ranges starting at just $499. Gas ranges as low as $599. Family size refrigerators starting at $749. Or get you a nice size freezer for $399. Hi, I'm Steve Kendricks with Daniel Appliance and Furniture. Come see us. We will save you money. 913 Louisville Avenue, Monroe. Are you looking for a way to save money on your monthly car payment? For a limited time, refinance your current auto loan with Washita Valley Federal Credit Union, and we will beat your current rate. If we can't, we'll give you a $25 Visa gift card just for trying. And like always, we offer 90 days no payment. Take control of your finances and explore the benefits of refinancing. Washita Valley, making good things happen. Billy Wood Ford, a really good Billy Wood deal. And now, your Craftsman Federal Credit Union Sports Desk. OTAs are coming to a close for the Saints, shifting the focus to mandatory minicamp next week. 
The Saints had pretty high attendance throughout OTAs, especially from their veteran leaders, including quarterback Derek Carr, safety Tyron Matthew, linebacker Demario Davis, and defensive lineman Cam Jordan. I imagine if you look over at Kansas City, they probably got 100% participation. And they won the Super Bowl, so if all them showing up and we chasing them, can't miss. Head coach Dennis Allen said there are various reasons why a handful of players were not at OTAs, but it's not something he's focused on. There's some guys that are not here due to injury. There's some guys that are here that are not here due to some personal issues. There's some guys that are not here due to their you know own personal choice. We're going to focus on the guys that are here, get the guys that are here, get them get them better as much as we possibly can. Next week we've got mandatory mini camp. My expectation is that everybody will be here for mandatory mini camp. The Saints won't be able to change too much of their format from OTAs to minicamp. The main thing is that they will be able to have more time together. We're allowed to be on the field a little bit longer, so, so we'll probably have a little bit more work out here on the field and we get more time during the day. So we'll have a few other house cleaning items that we'll take care of during this time so that we get, get a lot of the mandatory things done before we break so we don't have to worry about dealing with that during, uh, during training camp. Allen did confirm he expects cornerback Marshawn Lattimore to be in attendance for mandatory minicamp next week, despite Lattimore not being at any of the OTAs open to the media. Reporting from the Saints practice facility for your Go Black and Gold, I'm Sarah Polchewski. Jared Floyd, Chief Meteorologist of the Arc Limits. Shop Rustin's Hidden Gem at Honey Hush Boutique. Go from boring to fabulous with their unique, fun fashion at prices you can afford. Shop online at www.shophoneyhushboutique.com or visit our store at 3640 Highway 33 Rust. We're still here making deals happen on the front porch at American Direct Auto in Winsboro, Louisiana. Hey guys, this is Eli with American Direct Auto, and as you can see, we're at our new location in West Bernard, Louisiana, and we have the best deals in town. Just as you can see, we're making deals on the front porch, just like we were in Winsboro. And if you want a good deal, come see us at American Direct Auto. That's right, American Direct Auto in West Bernard and American Direct Auto in Winsboro. You may want to attend college. But you have a full-time job and kids that need your full-time attention. How can you possibly attend college? You learn online at South University. Earn your degree any hour, any day, from anywhere. And the credit transfer policies also make it easier to return to college. The convenience of taking classes where you want. The flexibility of taking classes when you want. So you can become who you want. South University Online. 1-800-234-1087. Join us for a special lanyap Saturday with the United Cajun Navy for hurricane awareness at Landry Vineyards. Dave Gore will be performing, plus tastings from 11 to 6 and tours starting at 2. Lanyap Saturday at Landry Vineyards, Saturday, June 8th. When severe weather strikes and you need information now, it pays to have the six minute advantage with the live storm tracker Doppler radar on NBC 10. Sponsored by Homeland Bank. Where's your money? Before I cast the first line out, I watched the Honey Hole Insider with my good buddy David Owen. He knows where all the good fishing spots are. The Honey Hole Insider Weekly Fishing Report, Friday mornings at 6. At TNT Stem Cell, we offer a wide range of aesthetic services that will help you take your beauty and well being goals to the next level. Our procedures use your own stem cells, creating platelet rich plasma, PRP, in conjunction with exosomes. Exosomes are used in the treatment process with PRP facelift and microneedling to improve your complexion and overall well being. Visit TNTstemcell.com to learn more for microneedling, hair restoration, men and women's health. Come see us at TNT. Scores and highlights from your team, from your school, in depth interviews with players and coaches covering the sports that matter to you. The NBC 10 Sports Desk on NBC 10 News, sponsored by Craftman Federal Credit Union. Stay alert with the NBC 10 Barron Weather App, sponsored by Level Tech. Live Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by Homeland Bank. And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler Weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. 
We currently have a cold front that's kind of stretched over our area and there is some activity popping up in southern Mississippi ahead of the boundary layer, but our skies are beginning to clear, especially at the mid upper levels. There is some dry air further up that's allowing these skies to clear on out. But here at the surface, we still have some high dew points and there is some fog developing in a couple spots, especially in parts of southern Arkansas. As you're heading out the door, definitely take it slow in case you run into that. Here's a look at the Doppler radar and we're not tracking anything ongoing across southern Arkansas or northeast Louisiana. Here's a look at the bike by tower camera in West Monroe. We can see the clouds are kind of breaking up. The sun is beginning to rise and it's kind of nice to not be talking about rain for once as we're kicking off our morning. At 72 degrees now at the Monroe Airport, visibility at 7 miles, dew point right at 70, winds still remain calm. To the north of Montsell, we're also around 70, 67 degrees at Ruston, 65 El Dorado, 66 now up in Camden. These dew points don't expect much change. We got a lot of rainfall the past couple of days and here at the surface we have a lot of evaporation happening so these dew points are still going to be the upper 60 lower 70 range so we're not going to see just a good flow of cool dry air being flown in because these winds will stay calm but visibility has dropped off in a few places especially up around Camden it was down to New Zero but now it's one mile five miles El Dorado nine or Ruston has improved a little bit out towards uh, Madison Parish and towards Vicksburg but still down to zero further to the southeast down in Natchez so if in case you run to that this time take it slow use loving lights when necessary got a cold front stretch just down to our southeast and there's some activity popping up ahead of the boundary layer across Mississippi and Alabama that's being pushed further off to the east. We got a dry line establishing itself up to the north. There's not going to be a whole lot happening between the front and the dry line because winds themselves are going to be relatively calm. So if you got any outdoor plans this morning, obviously the best time to do it. We're going to see lots of sunshine throughout the day. We'll be in the upper 80s at noon, but about 3 and 4 o'clock later today, we are expecting these temperatures to really be rising. So definitely continue to practice heat safety. Lower 90s will be our daytime highs, really because a good chunk of the region, but sadly, it's not going to feel like that. We're going to be kind of hitting those upper 90s and probably right there around 100, 101 for our heat index. So make sure you're staying hydrated. Check up on your loved ones. Make sure their air conditioning is working. And all right, it is the first week of June. And of course, we could be seeing more of these throughout the course of summer. And we'll be like this for the next couple of days going into the start of the weekend. So don't, don't expect much change with that. Future tracker will start to show a cold front will begin moving down to our south. The dry line still holds to the north. High pressure moves on in out of the northwest, keeping our weather pattern relatively quiet. Now, as we go into next week, starting on Sunday, we do have a low pressure center that's going to be forming to the northwest, and we're going to see a warm front stretched across Oklahoma and Arkansas. There might be a chance for some shower thunderstorms popping up along that layer, mainly for parts of southern Arkansas late Saturday night going into Sunday, but we have the cold front back behind it that will kind of sweep on through by next Monday and Tuesday, and it will spark up more rain chances, but it's going to give us kind of a brief cool down on Monday and Tuesday, lasting through the middle of of the week until next Wednesday, but it's going to be short lived because we are expecting to be back to the 90s by the late part of next week. But it had 92 degrees for this afternoon, staying warm and muggy. Tonight will fall to lower 70, staying clear and quiet. And then tomorrow, expect more sunshine, still going to be hot and humid with these temperatures in the lower to mid 90s. And even for Saturday, we could be in the mid 90s with a heat index potentially getting close to that heat advisor criteria of at least 105. Now, by next Sunday and Monday, expecting patchy showers and thunderstorms with our next frontal boundary. Will fall to mid 80s Monday through Tuesday, and lows will be in the lower to mid 60s. So that's coming right back. Watch NBC 10 News today. News sponsored by Banner Ford of Monroe. It's amazing to think that Parker Auto Body is celebrating 35 years of business. We've been honored to serve our growing community, helping us to become the largest and most efficient shop in the area. Our long-term, well-trained staff, as well as our state-of-the-art facility on Cypress Street in West Monroe are why we continually receive consumer awards and certifications from over 15 major manufacturers. We are so incredibly thankful to this community and are honored to be trusted to return your vehicle to pre-accident condition with a safe quality repair. Marooch Tire Service is a proud sponsor of NBC10's broadcast of the Olympic Games. Go, Go Team, Team USA. USA! Watch the 2024 Summer Olympic Games from France this summer on KTVE NBC10. These days, it's tough to make ends meet. When you're struggling to pay your mortgage, credit cards, and medical bills, it can be overwhelming. There may be help. James Spivey is an experienced attorney to assist you with creditors avoiding foreclosure and representing you in bankruptcy if needed. For legal advice with your personal and business finances, call James Spivey today at 387-3666 or on the web at jspiveylaw.com. I'm James Spivey. Bankruptcy's not the end. It's a new beginning. 
I'm Mike Mayfield with Fast Serve Medical. We're your local pros for mobility and accessibility. Please join us at AskThePros at MyArklamas.com. They put their lives on the line for our country. They served with honor, dignity, and courage. Serving took them to places far and away, and they have so many stories to tell. At NBC10 News, we want to hear those stories. Go to myarchlimus.com to nominate a veteran you know. And once a month on NBC10 News Today, we'll share the story of one heroic veteran. Salute to Veterans on NBC10 is sponsored by Aero Dental Center. They proudly served our country, but unfortunately, many veterans in our area are homeless and hungry. You can do your part in changing their lives by participating in the Homeless Veterans Food Drive. Stop by Max Fresh Market in Monroe, West Monroe, or Columbia to purchase a prepackaged bag of food. $10 can go a long way in helping us reach our goal of raising five tons of food. Make a difference in a veteran's life. Buy a bag today. The latest local news is always a click away at MyArklamas.com. We'll see lots of sunshine today and also through the rest of this weekend to start of the weekend, but it is definitely going to be getting warmer and getting hot for Saturday. We stay in the lower to mid-90s with heat index values climbing to the upper 90s and hitting the start of those triple digits. So just stay hydrated. can start to practice heat safety for the next few days. Now next week, we'll kind of get a brief cool down with a return of more showers and thunderstorms. But like I said, it's going to be brief because we're going to be back to the 90s by next Thursday and Friday. All right, thanks, Chase. We are looking now at a live picture from our camera at the American University of Paris. Now you'll be able to tune into the 2024 Paris Summer Olympics right here on NBC 10 this summer. Games kick off on July 26th, wrap up on August 11th, and we get a beautiful picture of the Eiffel Tower this morning, but technically this afternoon in Paris time. It's about 2 p.m. over there, so I like that, that shot right it's there. It's really gorgeous. It's like a postcard shot. I know. Oh, with the cloud in the back, um, yeah, I'm excited to see see how the Olympics go because not only will there be a ton of athletes, also all the spectators, you know, people coming out to watch. Paris is going to be crowded. Mm -hmm. Just and they got so sunshine, we got sunshine. Right, we're glad about that. I know, maybe we'll keep it up, hopefully, for Paris and for us. Keep, yeah, keep the sunshine up, for sure. All right, stick around for the Today Show. That's coming up next. <laughs> 